This video will go over the DSM GI Smart AGC setup for GI Motorola style amplifiers. After a few installations, you will find the DSM setup is very easy and it is the most reliable AGC to work with, backed by our 5 year warranty. The DSM can hold levels steady in the most extreme temperature swings and you will not need to return for seasonal rebalancing. While the old ADU is still in and the jumper is in the ADU position, Turn the ADU pot so the output level reading on your meter is all the way down. Depending on the amp, this will either be fully clockwise or fully counterclockwise on the pot. Make sure you have the manufacturer recommended ADU pad in place while setting the ADU pot. Now that the ADU pot is set correctly, place the ADU jumper into the manual position so that you can set up the amplifier before switching to AGC mode. Remove the RF cover and swap out the old ADU with the DSM GI, then replace the RF cover. The LED on the DSM will be blinking a steady blue, indicating that it is in manual mode. Remove the manufacturer specified ADU JXP pad and replace with a 0 dB value JXP pad, then set input levels to system design specifications. Plug the controller cable into the DSM then plug the controller into the cable. After flashing red and blue for 3 seconds, the controller LED will turn to solid blue. If it is not solid blue, press the mode button once or twice until it is solid blue. Max out the gain with the manual reserve gain pot. Back off the manual reserve gain by 3.5 dB at 750 MHz, 4 dB at 870 MHz, or 4.5 dB at 1 gig. Place the ADU jumper into the auto drive position. Note that the DSM is still in manual mode, as indicated by both LEDs. The DSM won't actually enter AGC mode until you tell it to do so by using the mode button on the controller. Before switching over to AGC mode, you may need to make an extreme temperature adjustment if you are setting up the amp in extreme hot or extreme cold conditions. In these conditions, you should adjust the alignment of the DSM with the amplifier's Bode circuit to allow for optimal gain control performance. You can do this by using the controller's plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the gain based on the current ambient temperature surrounding the cable going into the amplifier. For example, looking at this chart, you can see that if it were above 100 degrees outside, you would use the plus button on the controller to increase the level on your meter at the highest operating frequency by 2 dB. Conversely, if it were below 20 degrees outside, you would use the minus button to decrease by 2 dB. If the temperature is between 40 and 80 degrees, you do not need to make an adjustment. If you have made an adjustment, make sure to rebalance your amplifier to system design spec using padding and or equalization as you normally would. If you haven't made an adjustment, you still want to be sure to check that your amp is balanced to spec before switching over to AGC mode. Now that the amp is properly set up, simply press the mode button once to go from manual to AGC mode. The align process will take about 30 to 45 seconds. When done, the LED on the controller will blink blue, indicating the DSM is now in AGC mode. The LED on the DSM itself will flash the channel number pattern followed by one slow blink for analog or two slow blinks for qualm. Remove the controller from the cable then remove the cable from the DSM. The setup is now complete. This LED color coding chart can be helpful for your first few installations. On the left is a list of color codes that appear on the DSM LED, and on the right are the color codes that appear on the controller LED. Notice that the DSM has a third mode, which is a thermal compensation mode. It is helpful to know that this mode is available, which you will know you are in when seeing a pinkish purplish light on the controller LED. Most systems prefer to always set the DSM into AGC mode rather than thermal since the AGC mode provides a more precise gain control. If the DSM is set into AGC mode and the pilot channel is ever lost, the DSM will automatically switch to this thermal compensation mode and automatically return to AGC mode once the pilot channel is restored. Sometimes Bode circuits go bad, so testing older Bodes is good practice. If you opt to test a Bode on an amp, we recommend performing the test right before the extreme temperature adjustment and switching to AGC mode. 
Make sure your input level is close to spec when performing the test. To test the Bode range, use the plus and minus buttons on the controller. At 750 MHz to 870 MHz, you should be able to increase the gain upward by about 3 to 5 dB and downward by about 5 to 7 dB. The full range should be about 10 to 11 dB. When done, you can simply press the mode button three times to cycle through the three modes, AGC to thermal and back to manual. The Bode will reset to the original level it was at before the Bode test, as you will see clearly on your meter. If the Bode is bad, you should replace the amp. After completing this test, continue to the extreme temperature adjustment procedure described earlier in the video. If you return to an amp with the DSIM already installed and are unsure if the ADU pot is set to the correct position, you can still determine the correct direction to turn the pot without having the original ADU in the amplifier. With the DSIM installed and in AGC mode, adjust the ADU pot while observing the output with a signal level meter. The signal will adjust very slowly. If you turn it one direction and the signal starts to go down, turn the pot all the way in that direction you are going. If the output signal started to go up instead, turn the pot the other direction all the way.